Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here for this kind of crazy video that I just decided last minute to film. I was kind of going through and organizing perfumes and I went, I need to talk about all of the duplicates that I have for whatever reason. There's very different reasons why I have duplicates. Uh, some of them are ones that I didn't even realize I had duplicates of until I moved all of my perfumes to my parents' house and started putting them on shelves here. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, there's a lot. And if you, if I haven't already put up my, how I moved all my perfumes, that will be coming. I'm, I'm working on editing it. It's a little weird. Anyway, I wanted to show you my shirt. Um, yeah, it's not my usual, like I usually have a nicer t-shirt on. This is Fallout Boy. Um, this is one of the last concerts that I got a chance to see before uh, shut down everywhere. And this was one of the actual like tragedies for me of 2020 because I was washing this at the laundromat and it got caught in a door and somehow I was washing it and just like shredded the sleeve. So then I have been on the search looking on eBay and Mercari for another sh replacement shirt. So I finally got it and I'm trying to break it in because it doesn't fit quite as well as my last one did. Like I wore it so much that it had faded a little bit and yeah. So that's why I'm wearing this and why it looks like the Taco Bell logo. It's for Fallout Boy. I will have timestamps down below so that you don't have to listen to my rambling and you can kind of skip to different fragrance houses. I am not including a couple of different things in here. One, you aren't going to see my Harajuku Lovers collection because I'm going to do a couple videos on that collection uh, later on. I just, I don't have all of them in the same place. I'm um, some of them are missing and I know um, I kind of have an idea where they are but I don't have access to them right at the moment same thing with my juicy couture Viva La Juicy so those aren't here because I don't have all of them and I know that I have others that I need to figure out where they are somewhere um, also I'm not going to count anything that's like a travel size like a purse spray or a roller ball I have a lot of those because a lot of those come in um, fragrance gift sets. So those I'm not including either. This is just full size bottles or semi full size bottles. There's no minis in here either. So these are just like actual like bottle bottles of perfume. So we're going to start with Valentino and the first one I'm going to start with is Donna Born in Roma. I got this as a gift set. So I actually got both of these at the same time. They were at Dillard's. It, I got them. It basically was I got this bottle free with the purchase of this one and they were doing a discount night at the same time and you know there's always gifts with purchase too so I have the 3.4 ounce and I have an ounce and I actually didn't mind this because when I was working and I had an office this is something that I kept in my office drawer in the past and it's just you know a scent that's really nice oh, it's so beautiful I really love Valentino Don and Donna born in Roma so I would keep the small one in my office desk drawer so that I could touch up throughout the day if I wanted to or if I needed like just a little pick-me-up I could do that or if I forgot scent because every once in a while you're in a hurry and you forget scent as you, before you walk out the door and so I had this in my desk drawer always for those type of things and then the full size the one thing I wanted to point out about these is this one has the sprayer actually on it and it does have like a little uh piece of plastic there to keep it from spraying if in transit and this one actually has a cap a cap so I thought that was interesting anyway I got to speed up this video or else we're going to be here for an hour so that is my first one Donna born in Roma the next one is one that I've had for a while I actually got it I think the first year that this fragrance was offered and I remember hearing about it and hearing that it smelled like coffee and I was like, I really want this. So this was something that I asked for for Christmas from my mom and she bought and she was she was shocked at how expensive it was. And I remember it being very expensive at the time too, but I was really excited to get it because I had seen it in Macy's and this was before like we used to have several stores in my area and they've all closed except for one. So this was at like our hometown store and it is black opium and this is the actual box like I display this um, and inside each side you could have this side was the one ounce and then there's the three ounce on the other side you can tell that I've been using the one ounce since it wasn't in there so that's what it looks like it had you know 
a giant bottle and a mini bottle and it was the same type of a deal as you got the big bottle and you got the small bottle free this was back when I started collecting perfumes I didn't have a lot in my collection at the time so I thought I would use this more than I did it's a you know everybody kind of knows what black opium is it's not like a year-round scent for me it's not something that I wear in the heat um, so I do like that I have it and the box is just so gorgeous like that black sparkle everywhere oh yeah so that is the next one this next grouping you can completely blame on my mom because she started seeing the bottles and um, decided to collect them for me and I love them and I'm so happy to have them but I will never go through this much perfume because I just like this fragrance it's not one that I love but it is Carolina Herrera good girl so I have the original one when this came out I so desperately wanted it I do like it I just don't wear it a lot because it is a stronger fragrance and it's just it's not so much my style so got this one and then she decided to get the pink one that's what she looks like I was I, I'm kicking myself that we didn't start this just a little bit earlier to get the blue bottle like the blue sparkly bottle that they did that first year and then the velvet one I'm still looking for those then uh, she wanted the dot one and we were searching because it was no longer available in star stores and luckily I found it on Zulily for a discounted price so I love that the dots even continue on to the back it's it's very cute and the final one that I have that's the same set is it's wrapped up and I've just never been, brought myself to unwrap it because I know what it is and it's just it's so cute with the little tag that has like the shape of the heel this is the gold shoe so I will have that a picture of it up above anyway so that is the last one I have because yes they're beautiful and that's why I have all the different bottles we're gonna move on to Victor and Rolf which I have several fragrances that I have duplicates of and I was a little shocked I didn't realize I had so many so we're gonna start with kind of their iconic flower bomb so I do have two of the flower bombs these are 1.7 and a one ounce and I got these as a gift set at Nordstrom's a couple years ago the Nordstrom's anniversary sale and this was a Good price it was much cheaper to get them together than separate I think usually when I'm buying gift sets with two it's about the price of the one so you get the bonus one and so yeah I have two and with this one I didn't mind so much because my plan was to leave one at my parents house and take one to my place and that's kind of what I've done up until this point so I didn't mind having two because I do like the scent and it is a nice one but yeah that's why I have it once again gift gift sets strike again the next one is a flanker of flower bomb and that, that is flower bomb bloom I haven't opened it, this one but this one I had wanted a 3.4 ounce because I really like this one this is oh it smells so good I, I want to spritz myself with it this is one that I had really liked and then I goofed and I bought flower bomb nectar because for some reason I got them mixed up in my head and then this one was being discontinued so I was tried to got I tried to get a 3.4 ounce couldn't get it so then I settled for a 1.7 and then when I found another 1.7 these were like on major sale I think they were at least 40% off because I got them at least one of them at Macy's I can't re I think maybe I got both of them at Macy's anyway I picked up a backup just because I really like this one and this is one I need to wear more I it's been a little neglected in my collection Finally, I have Bonbon, bon, and this is just a one ounce Bonbon. Bon. I've used this one quite a bit. This was in my Show My Dents tag, which I'll have linked up above. So it's been one that I've worn a lot, and then last summer it started going like 40, 50% off, and I panicked a little bit thinking they were going to discontinue the scent. So when I had an opportunity to pick up an extra bottle of it, I picked up a 1.7 ounce, so I do have a full size backup a nice good size too I love the scent it is so delicious this is very comforting very sweet caramel I love it so yeah that was my last Victor and Rolf that I have duplicates of right, next up is Tom Ford and this one's a little bit of a cheat kind of weird so I have the 50 mil or the 1.7 ounce of lost cherry and I love this scent 
Although I have to be very careful because I know other people say this doesn't last on them, but this one, the last time I wore it, like 10 hours later, eight, 10 hours later, I could still smell it. And it was starting to make me a little sick because I could just could constantly smell it. And that's not usually my experience with uh, perfumes. Usually I have them on for a while and then like I put something else on and they're not like, they don't have a loud presence. And this one has a, had a louder presence on me. I don't know what it was, but uh, yeah, I found this one to be very long lasting. Anyway, I picked this one up on eBay on a whim. This is, I, it has some damage to it. I'm pretty sure this is not authentic, but it was like $40 and I was buying another perfume that was only available in Russia. So when I saw this one, I was like, I'm going to, you know, take a chance on it. It does smell really good. It smells like the scent to me. So uh, yeah, I do have kind of a backup just because this is so expensive. So when I had the opportunity to get this and uh, kind of go out on a limb on it, I thought, you know, what? why not? It's not out too much money. Um, so I tried it. You remember how, the, how at the beginning of this video, I said some of them I didn't even realize I had duplicates of? Case in point, this is Anna Sui Romantica. I have like a 1.7 and a one ounce. I knew I had this one and I forgot that I had like this weird gift set thing that I got at, I think I got it at Burlington and it's like this little circular case I should have grabbed it but it's like up high on a shelf uh so yeah it was just this weird little kind of purse thing and I didn't realize I still had a perfume in there because usually I take those out even if they're like cute display pieces and put my perfume somewhere else and then when I was unpacking everything I was like I have two of it. So this is one that was unintentional, but I do have a duplicate of Anna Sweet Romantica. Here's another unintentional one that I didn't realize that I had two of. So I picked up this one. As you can see, it was on clearance at Kohl's. It says 27. I figure, I feel like I didn't pay 27. It feels like a lot for Vera Wang. I don't know. Anyway, I have two of it. It is Vera Wang Princess of Hearts. And yeah, I was, I did not realize I had two of this fragrance. I think I was like cataloging and I already had it written down and I was like, what? That, that's weird. Um, so yeah. And then I, I found both of them and yet I have duplicates of it and didn't even realize it when I bought it. But I like, I don't know when I discovered it, like if I could have returned it or not, or if I just decided it wasn't worth it, probably got Kohl's cash on it or use Kohl's cash on it to be honest. So yeah, another weird one. You can hear it rattling in the box. It's driving me a little nuts. This one is also kind of a victim of impulse buying. This is Zara Amochi in Atelier. Or Mochi Atelier in Tokyo. That's what it is. So I got this one originally because I ordered this online and I... Oh, by the way, this smells absolutely amazing. Bought this online and really liked it and then was searching for the last fragrance in this grouping, which was a sweet pastry in Paris and searched for it. And it said that there was one store that was about an hour away from where I was driving. So it would be like, you know, additional hour and a half out of my way to get there and back, you know, get off the road, get back on the road. And so I went there and I tried to call first. You probably already heard. I'm not going to go over the story. Anyway, was in the store. They didn't have what I went in for. And I was kind of like, I came all this way, so I'm going to buy something. And this was 50% off. So I picked up a backup because I really do like this one. And I can see myself wearing this one a lot. So I do have a backup because it was 50% off. So it was like $13 for the second bottle. Yeah. This next one is partly because it was just cute and probably it was on sale, knowing me, but also because I liked this fragrance so much that I decided that what I had was not enough, so I needed another one. So it is Betsy Johnson. It is too, too pretty. And this one, I had the one ounce and then I found the 1.7 ounce. So I have a backup. The packaging, like, I wish I had kept the other packaging because I also have just tutu and I just 
this is so different and such an awesome display piece kind of thing but this this also smells really good you have to be careful though because I did rip the skirt off of my tutu and it just doesn't look quite as well I'm also like can you see that string probably not I saw it for a second anyway have I gone through this one ounce no should I? Yes, this one definitely needs to be pulled forward in my collection. It's really helped because I had a lot of my collection in storage because I just don't have a lot of space. And um, I didn't really know where I was gonna be or like what my life is gonna be. I still don't, but I decided that um, I'd rather have them all out at my parents' house where um, I can come a couple times a year and really enjoy them and then just take home a few of them with me and rotate them that way so that's that's what's what I'm going to be doing that's why I'm filming this early so that I have some content uh, for the fall semester because yeah so yeah tutu pretty by Betsy Johnson this next one I got because I was curious about reformulation so I had ordered this guy and these were pretty expensive on Kohl's to be honest I think this was like $60 or 40 something it was quite a bit I used Kohl's cash so I got it for like really cheap because I already had that money it smells so good oh my gosh I love the scent of it but I heard that they were reformulated and that they used to last longer in the original so this is one of my videos that I need to like experiment with and see if the original or the reformulation lasts longer that's why I do have two of them because I finally found one of them for a good price and honestly if I find sweet Oh, this is so sweet by Lolita Limpica. I should say that. If I find sweet in this style bottle, I probably will buy it just so that I can tell as well. All right, this is another one from my earlier days of my perfume collection. Uh, I think this was like back in 2015 or 2016. So if you don't know, I collect Marc Jacobs Daisy Flankers. I have like every year they put out a limited edition i have all of those i have all of them for each line so daisy daisy oh so fresh daisy dream daisy love did i leave out i think those are only four so uh when i found and when I, I when they started they didn't go on the gray market very often um and like they never showed up at tj maxx which is where i would look for the most part recent years they haven't been as popular and you've seen them and i mean sometimes they're already popping up on discount sites like Zulily or other places, you know, halfway through the year, which is really crazy, but that was not the case when they started. So Daisy Sunshine, the original one that they did back in 2012 is my favorite, but this one I really liked. And um, so I had this one, this is Daisy Delight. I think this was the 2014 or 2015 fragrance. So when I found, well, I guess this is the one that I had because I've used more of it. So when I found it at TJ Maxx for like a significant discount. I think it was like $30. I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a backup just because you never see backups. And I wish I had a backup of Sunshine because that is one that when it goes, I'm going to be just so, so, so sad that I don't have any more of it. But yeah, that's why I have this one. This was just like, there was an opportunity and they weren't as easy to find as they are now as we've kind of learned that sometimes when I see a good deal, I just can't pass it up. Uh, that's kind of what's going on with this next house. So next up is Kate Spade. Let's start with Live Color Fully. I actually don't remember getting this fragrance in. The, this is like the 3.4 ounce. So this is a big one. I do remember buying the little gift set with the one ounce in it though. So like, I remember this was like a deal at TJ Maxx. I don't remember when or where I got this one, but I love Kate Spade. So I'm okay with having two. This isn't my favorite scent of hers, but this one was definitely a deal and that's why I got it. And I don't, maybe I got it because, and I knew I already had this one and it was just cute and I got it anyway. Who knows? The other one I distinctly remember getting because it was a good deal. So I had bought one gift set of In Full Bloom and I got it from Alta and it came in like a pretty bet a pretty box with a pretty bag in it and it had like a roll um, purse, purse spray in it as well and yeah I really like this scent this is a really this is a this is a rose scent like it's very pretty the bottle is gorgeous I really like it right 
Very nice. Well, Gordman's was going out of business and the same set, different packaging, but same items, not the bag, but just like the rollerball and the, these are one ounce. Yeah. The one ounce perfume was like $15. How could I pass up for $15 a scent that I really like? Am I ever going to go through all the perfume I own? No. But was this an amazing, fantastic deal? Yes. Do I regret it? No. We're going back to those notorious gift sets that I talked about early on in the video with Oscar de la Renta. This is Bella Rosa. So this was a set and I think it also came with at least a body lotion or a body uh, shower gel. I don't remember which one it came with. It's long gone anyway. I've had this for a couple years. So this is another one that I kept the small bottle in my desk drawer at work and I just, oh, I love the scent. This is a beautiful, jammy, sweet rose. It's not like, it's just really good. I really like it. So I was very happy to get it. I loved Bella Blanca. That was one of my favorites. This one, I don't keep the cap on tight because I've had issues with it pulling up this part and it's a pain in the butt to get back out. So yes, I was very, I'm, I'm happy to have a duplicate of this one. This or Bella Blanca are my favorite. Bella Essence I didn't like as much, but I did need to give that one more of a go because I kind of ignored it. Uh, and when I did my Oscar de la Renta video, which I'll have linked up above, I was shocked at how much I really liked it. We have one final one that came in a gift set of two. I don't really, I don't under quite understand, you know, a gift set of two of the same fragrance. Like, let me know what your thoughts. This is one that I kind of debated whether to include or not because it's kind of a travel size spray, but it kind of isn't. It is Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir. I love this fragrance. I have most of the line. I don't have most of the line. I have a good portion of the line, but there's so many of it. Anyway, I love this. It's a cherry type fragrance. I love cherry fragrances. You might have noticed that with some of these fragrances. This I saw and I just couldn't resist getting. I saw this on Zulily. It is so heavy though. Oh my gosh, it's crazy heavy. So it is a travel size that is refillable. So that is the actual perfume in there. And it just, the cap screws on and then it's like a leather case. It's so nice. And I loved the packaging on it. Like that was part of the reason why I wanted to get it. Uh, if you can see here, you have that beautiful dress in there. So kind of travel size, but kind of not. As we get closer to the end, if you haven't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to like and leave a comment. Are there fragrances that you have duplicates of? Are there fragrances that you would consider getting a duplicate of? Let me know down below what fragrances that you really like or what bottles that you really like. We got Chloe next. Um, this Chloe is like a 1.7, I think. No, 2.5. Wow, that one's big. And this is a one ounce. I got this. This was a set that I found on clearance at TJ Maxx. And I thought, you know, I'm going to have a backup to just leave at my parents' house. So I got this. It had like lotion and body wash in it too. It's, it's a lovely set. I do like it. I haven't worn it as much of late, but it is so such a pretty scent. The only thing I hate about this is that it's like a silver um, bottle. So you have to actually polish it because it tarnishes all the time. But yes, there's that one. Believe it or not, this is actually a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a longer video. Mugler, I love the alien bottles. And actually, this is another house that I got started in because my mom liked the bottles and was like, I'm collecting them now. So I have a collection. The first one I'm going to talk about is the original alien. So I have this one. This is the slip cover. I just slipped it off. It is called we are alien. It's just the alien bottle, but they did special ones. So they all look different. The bottles. I have two of them actually. So this is the first one. It has like orange at the top. I'm trying to figure out how you can see it best orange at the top. And then it kind of goes in to purple has a little amber over here on this side. The other one, this is the first one that I got. Um, these are supposed to be limited edition bottles. And then this one, I think 
I don't know where I got the second one, but this one I got from Macy's and um, the Moogler rep was very persuasive that we needed and we got to pick the most pretty bottle. So this is this bottle and this one starts with like that blue and then proceeds into red and ends with like a purple kind of at the bottom. Um, it's, it's very, it's very pretty. It has just like maybe a hint of green at the top. The bottles are gorgeous. The scent is gorgeous. This is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. So definitely glad to have backups of it, but is that all I have? No. This is the first one that I had. This is one my mom went in and she was supposed to buy herself something because she had birthday money for Macy's. She bought me this one and she bought me the next one that you're going to see too. And she's like, oh, they're so cute. And she's like, I just want to make a little family now uh, because different sizes. So these ones are two ounces. This one is a one ounce. I also have this guy that I picked up on Zulily because it was cute. And I was, this one is kind of a travel size. This is a half ounce. So yeah, uh, just regular alien. They're all regular alien scent. I just realized I have one more house to talk about after this one. The next fragrance that I have for Mugler is Alien Fusion. As you can see, like I've put a pretty good dent, like for the amount of perfumes that I have, I've put a good dent in this one. I love this one. This one is just like alien, but with some ginger to it. It's just a little bit fresher. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily lighter, but it's also kind of lighter at the same time. Anyway, I saw this one at Ulta and at the time they had the yellow stickers, anything that was yellow stickered was 75% off. So this was like $27 for a second one for a two ounce. And I just, it was another one that I couldn't resist because it was such a good price. I got this last um, summer and yeah, when they opened up Ulta's again, they had a massive clearance hall or clearance sale. And I, this was one that I'm really glad that I picked up. So the final house, and yes, I'm sure it's the final house now, um, is Katy Perry. And I have two scents and I debated whether to put these in cause they're kind of minis, but they're kind of not, these are half ounces. And I do have an even smaller size of these as well that I uh, showed in my miniature perfume video also linked up above just in case you haven't watched it. So I have this one. This is a 1.7 ounce. This is Royal Revolution. I love the bottles. I wish they had created stands though to put them in because that's the only problem. Like they lay down. So they take up a lot of room on the shelf, but they're just, they're really unusual bottles. Uh, I was really trying to collect all of them at the time. I'm still looking for spring break, spring rain. So if you, or anybody you know that has spring rain that wants to get rid of it, hit me up, let me know. Um, also for a reasonable price, like I'm not paying a hundred dollars for a celebrity scent. Yeah. Uh, the last one I have is, this is just Killer Queen. This was kind of like the perfect storm to get me to purchase it. This came out, I was still really a fan of Katy Perry at the time. Like I really liked her more campy style music that was very bubbly and kind of cheeky. Her newer stuff I haven't been as thrilled with. Plus it was Killer Queen and any reference to Queen the band. And I love Qu Killer Queen. It's an amazing song. I love Queen the band. Um, Freddie Mercury was an amazing uh, person. Like just talent, amazing talent. So I got a Killer Queen. And this one, I have like the 3.4 ounce bottle. It's the really giant one. And then yes, once again, I have the little one. It's supposed to look like a scepter kind of, I think. Um, so yeah, they're very cute. Um, the tops look like crowns. They have like little um, vents in them and everything. I think they're very cute. These I'm pretty sure came in sets and that's why I have the small one and the large one. I can't imagine buying just the small ones randomly because they're not small enough to be like part of my miniature collection. So that is it. That is the end of my perfumes that I have a duplicate of. You will get a part two with two of my absolute favorite brands once probably, um, that'll probably be in January to be honest. Um, just because, uh, 
I need a chance to find them and a chance to get them all together and I won't have that opportunity during the school year. So let me know um, what your thoughts are on these. Do you, uh, yeah, do you have any of these scents? Do you like any of these scents? Let me know down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.